Today's video is on the 120 grain GMX by Hornady. We'll do a high and low velocity shot, simulating both close to the muzzle and a 500 yard plus shot. I'll be starting with the high velocity load. Had an error on the chronograph, so I'll shoot some more of those through the chronograph later to get an average. Leading edge of that bullet stopped at 29 and 3 quarter inches. I don't know if you can see that uh, wound channel on there. I'm going to bring things around to the other side where it's a little more visible, but it looks darn good. That uh, mushrooming started within the first quarter inch. You have your large mushroom at one inch to approximately the 14 inch. You have little bits of permanent wound cavity carrying to the 26 and a half inch mark with that leading edge at roughly 23 and 3 quarters. That large permanent wound cavity is four and a half inches. I'd say overall, I'm pleased with that. I'm going to pull this bullet so nothing happens to it with my next shot. That is a really pretty mushroom. Next shot will be a reduced load. See where that reduced load came high, came up, hit this block, and still exited that block. Let's get some measurements on this, and I'll shoot a couple more times trying to catch one. You started mushrooming at the three-quarter inch mark. At the inch and a half mark, you got your large permanent wound cavity carrying to just past the 14-inch mark. Exited that block. 22 and a half inches. A large portion of that permanent wound cavity, roughly three and three quarter inches. Overall, did pretty well. I'm going to try to shoot another one so I can capture one of these bullets. Velocity was 2,094 feet per second.
saw it veered up as well. Went only a little bit into that block and must have went flying back somewhere. I'm gonna try setting this guy a little differently to see if we can't still catch one. That wound track came in just below the other and actually looks really nice. We'll try again. Never mind, I don't need to try again. I see it laying on the ground here. Sure enough, it did come in, hit there, and come back. So that's over 30 inches, just barely over 30 inches of penetration. Great mushroom, great wound cavity. I'm going to shoot some more of the high velocity loads just so the chronograph will read one. I have to say I'm, I'm impressed with this. It is definitely giving me as deep but slightly more aggressive wound channel than the Nosler E-tips. that bullet. And its leading edge is 28 and 3 quarters. So really close to that first high velocity load. And it was traveling at 2,866 feet per second. So overall, I have to say I'm pleased with them. They perform just a little bit better than the Nosler E-tips, but an extremely similar bullet.